Hi, my name is BJ Down. I'm a product developer and inventor of the Body Works Ball. The Body Works Ball is a muscle recovery tool used to help counter the ill effects of sitting. On average, people sit 10 plus hours a day, which now equals the same negative impact as smoking. We spend most of our days hunched over our tech devices and we don't take proper care of our neck, shoulders, and feet. The Body Works Ball helps counter the ill effects of all this hunching over our devices. In my quest to have my product made in the United States, I encountered a lot of obstacles. So we decided to document these challenges as well as opportunities facing product developers and manufacturers like me. What I discovered along the way is that my struggles and problems are the same as most people face in making products in the U.S. and that is a skills gap. A skills gap that we need to fill right now through education resources. The challenges I face as a product developer and manufacturer are not uncommon to what many people are facing to have their products made in the U.S. So I decided to invite other people along for this journey to see what we could do as a unit collectively to make changes today. I would like to also challenge people that are investing in this country right now, people like the Billionaire Club, which consists of Bill and Melinda Gates, Warren Buffett, Sarah Blakely of Spakes, who are generously donating at least half a billion dollars to better the world. What I would like to say is I challenge any one of them to help start investing in equipment here in the U.S. I also like to challenge Oprah Winfrey to have her favorite things list be just one time from all made in the USA products. Doesn't even have to be my product, just some products made in the U.S. I hope you enjoy this video short. And one of the one of the gaps that, that we're finding, because with, with my supply chain, one of the gaps is the biggest one that I'm coming across and that, that Chris and I were talking about is getting someone to go from the computer keystroke to the machining. That's yes. where we find the biggest skills gap in general, and it's across the board. And we can actually, if you want, we can walk into Chris's office and show um, and have you do a keystroke to do a programming on, on the machine, and then we can take you into the, the shop to show where it goes from the computer to the machining. I'd love to see that. Yeah. Okay. What am I looking at here? This is called an FMS cushion. It's a two-part insert. If you want to click around on it, you can highlight different areas. And it is going to become... Uh, a, a cushion for a conveyor belt for mining silver. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is what you're manufacturing for is amazing. The customer comes to us and they have a design for a part. We have to figure out how to create that negative with the tool that, that we're going to produce, the steel tool. So we take that and take the part, create a wireframe of it, and then kind of separate it into pieces where the tool is going to come apart and create a, a border around that so then you have this solid plate of steel. Um, that's all design. That's all classroom type of learning that right. is, is available to us. Taking that design and creating the reality, making sure that it can be machined properly, is where we find the gap. And it's hard to find people who can actually that can actually that bridge. That can walk work out that of the computer. classroom and go to the machine, put a plate of steel on it and say find X. You know, find, so find out you where do, you are. And right now, do you have vacancies? Like, but I have those skills. Absolutely. Really? Right yeah. now, what's your biggest need? That's it. That's machining. Machinist. Yeah. Why don't, why don't we walk down to the machine that. Okay. If, and when you if say you, machinist, you, he's going to walk it to Any machinist properly trained do this? Absolutely. So you're just saying that we're not producing enough machinists right. to fill this gap? Absolutely. Right. Because where each. You come in. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Which each, each of the products that they're making, it could take six weeks or longer. Just for the machine tooling, tool. the machine tooling. So, um, you know, that was an example of someone like me as a small manufacturer. Right. Um, you know, he let me know up front. Okay, it's going to take you know six, I think it was eight, eight weeks. Right, yeah. and to, just to get the the Two tooling months. done. But it it uh, it came from a, a giant piece of steel. You know, to go from the computer to being done on the machine. And I'm a I'm a smaller um, you know supply chain or s smaller uh, end user. He's got bigger ones that he's got a lot of jobs lined up that could be going right now. And as far as comp uh, competition overseas, that's where we see competition overseas. There's a lot of tool makers overseas who have state-of-the-art equipment and can build a tool in 20 days, counting weekends. So it, it, it's easy for a lot of other companies to go out and beat go to us China. On, on price and lead time because they're going to go to China. We want to keep it here, right? 
So, you know, that's, that's our cell, so that's, we have control of it. We have equipment, it there's difference sometimes, is it could be a piece of equipment that they need and the trained machinist. Yeah. That's so really the difference. The, the, the competitive edge that you could be getting over Chinese export, exports to China is having the skilled labor here. Skilled, mm -hmm. absolutely. And that's a competitive edge that can keep yes. more, more from going overseas. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so really that's the gap. And, right. it's, and it's not just us. I go to trade shows for, for rubber companies and everybody asks, who makes your tooling? Right. Where do you get your tooling? Yeah, it's, it's the, the biggest question. And so if we were creating pathways of that skilled labor, America, not just you guys, but you're seeing this from your, from your other peers. Plastic, rubber, yes. yeah. We could, my, yeah. We could be holding a lot more right. jobs, a lot more manufacturing, <laughs> yeah. a lot right. more exports here right. in the United States, we can be doing all that more. Absolutely. For it's my also product, yeah. Interest. You know, the young people aren't interested in going into machining or manufacturing. So, they all want to go to college. But this will, I you know this, this answer is going to blow me away. So, what would you pay if I'm a, a 19 year old young man getting into this? What would, like, what's my salary range? Um, nine, it's entry level? Yeah. Oof. No, no, I, I couldn't. For skill, for so, if I start skill, young 19 uh, getting the skills. 70 grand. 70 grand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is way above even New Jersey's median income. That's yes. way above that's New Jersey's. Right. That's so where you dial back. The competitive edge you need is not tax breaks. It's not you know all these other things that people say, but really it's just skilled talent, training, trained people that can do the work here and frankly make a very good living. Doing yeah. It. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's really this, and that's where yep. the public private partnerships right. come in. As easy as right. that. So if you could share some of the um, the education feeder systems that are happening right now. State of New Jersey it has uh, funded for the last four years something called an Advanced Manufacturing Talent Network, which is working with all the colleges and schools, high school and middle school, high school, college, university, to get this workforce that you're talking about. This is about hands-on. Mm. So this is the old, what used to be called VoTech. Yeah. But it is now career technology education with possibilities of getting certified by industry to know these exact skills. And there are actual programs throughout this state that are doing this already. Um, Number. So why don't we take the senator to Within the next five room? Thousands, plus or minus five thousand. One of the first presses that were ever built in the rubber business is, is that one right this there. One right here? Yeah, yeah. This uh, turn of the century, built in trend. Yeah. So you can see right here. Drop, right New Jersey. This is what started it all. And we still run one of these to make our ear cushions for the hearing test. That is incredible. Yeah, maybe a little dirty, but uh, everything gets a little dirty in here. I don't know if this is maybe more of a jersey product than a festival like that. It's amazing, yeah. Great. This, this month's manufacturing rate was 98. <laughs> Thank you. Where, where, what town do you live in? Trent. You live right here, all right. Right down the street. That's how you grew up in town? Two men here. And so who trained you? You, you have to be really highly trained, I'm sure, to do what uh, you're doing. As you run, you learn. Yeah. Learn every day. You learn every day. I still learn. All right. Yeah. We're constantly coming up with new formulas, and, and we'll get it, I'll get it maybe 75% there in my office, and then he brings it home on the mill and really gets the physical property style there from his know-how. Byron, Camden, Trent, you we got high unemployment. What, what do you say to young young people about this? Is a good job, right? But good pay. Good pay. This is. Um, so now what we're going to show you is the New Jersey made product that's made one of the New Jersey made products that's made in this facility. That is my product. Yeah. Our tool weighs about four hundred pounds. That's my tool. Isn't it pretty? That's my baby. Yeah. Ah. So she looks like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't help but always get a giant smile on my face whenever I see it. Because I saw it from a giant, uh, just a, a piece of metal, from a piece of steel. Yeah. The amazing thing is that we came up with a new formulation for BJ, and it's a recycled compound. We've been talking about it for a while yeah. because uh, I wanted to reduce my global footprint and we're both into recycling as much as possible. So uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it uh, myself 
made from recycled material. And then that machine I was before, she sands this down. Yeah. She'll inspect the parts and, sand and cut off all the flesh. And then they go to final QC from there and they do a sampling and ship it out. And then the customer pays their bill. And <laughs> All right, so we're now going to show you the process of assembling a product from start to finish, but also that you don't have to be a huge company to start off in manufacturing. You can be someone like me and start off small and actually go from start to finish. So um, my mother here is going to show you the assembly because um, the, the face of manufacturing is changing too. If you notice there's yes. two females here doing the manufacturing assembly. So my mother's going to, I'm going to turn over okay. my mother Diane to leaving. show you. Yeah. This, just slide it on. Okay. So now you have a finished, you have a finished product and also to show that you don't need to have a huge budget to get shipping your product. These bags we ordered from Uline to get started off with, which is made in the U.S. Ordered the labels from our local printer, registered online for the UPC coding. So made the bag. Well, what if I don't want to send it to somebody just keep it <laughs> <laughs> then you can then you can do that as well okay. so you, you can put your you can put your label right on okay my label on your labels on then we flip right. it over UPC coding And even if you didn't have a, your own printer, some, some places are small, really small when they start off, you can just get printing labels, put it right on the packaging, and you can hand write your own label That's and amazing. have a product out. I mean, these, these labels are easily ordered the same way online, and you just print them out from your, any computer in black and white, and you're, you're ready to go. But if you, if you don't have the printer, you hand write your label, and you're ready to ship your product. Roll it up. Okay, so hold on, how did you do that? You, you uh, all I did was I took it like this. Take it like this. And I wrapped it around my hand. And I wrapped it around your hand. And then I just rolled the ball the base into the bag. No? Yeah. Right? right. And now you've right. had you you've assembled the product from start to finish. And we're even going to give you a label and you can send it to you can send it to whoever you want to send it to. And so someone could get surprised. They're going to get an official Senator Booker Body Works ball hand assembled. And we're gonna we're not gonna show the address, but we're gonna let him write to whoever he wants to send this to. And he's in the manufacturing and shipping business and he's keeping the economy going. Very good assembling it, by the way. You guys are amazing. Well, you know, you, you, you don't get a better worker than your mother, right? No. <laughs> better support, better worker. <laughs> now we're going to put the stamp on it. Well, that's another thing I wanted to show is that, you know, if you don't have your labels, you can just get pre made stamps so you can have your return address on there. You right can there. write your own. There are a lot of resources for small companies to start out so you can just get going. Incredible. We also have a disclosure that goes oh, right. in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here, I'll give you a little stamp on your thing. There we go. You're good to go. And you can mail yourself a, a Body Works ball. Well, this is my brother, Carrie. Oh, fantastic. And there's a disclaimer so he knows how to uh, use it how carefully. It. Yeah. That is you're, a, you're an assembler and manufacturer now yes. and supporting the economy. Should we mail it out for him? We'll mail it out for you. Thank you, Senator. Are you kidding me? You're so fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your daughter is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.